here. Hey, I'm Antonio Graceffo, Martial Arts Odyssey. Today I am on the set of my first 3D TV piece. And this is a fight scene in Bangkok, and I got with me today Mr. Al Cardillo. Mr. Al. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah. Tony. How are you? Good, good. How's the family? Hey, good. The family's okay. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So uh, Al's from uh, Kentucky, and uh, this is Mr. Rick Laws, yeah? Yeah. That's yeah. right. And Mr. Rick Laws, wait, where are you from? Uh, down under. Down under. That's ah, uh, 131st Street. Joyzy. Joyzy. You're from Joyzy. Bridge and tunnel crowd over here. Down the village. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, could you guys explain to our folks at home, because they're going to go, hey, this thing's called the 3D shoot, but it's in 2D. So can you explain to them what we did today? And Well, what we did basically was we did a 3D shoot with you and the Ulysses, where we're experimenting with 3D. This is going to go out on the web. This will be a free download for people to get from 3dguy.tv website. And you'll be able to see you guys fighting. And it's to show people how exciting 3D can be. Because right now, there's not a lot of content out there. And yet there's a lot of TV, 3D TVs being sold. Samsung, Panasonic, Sony, Mitsubishi, LG. Everybody's got 3D TVs. And it's only going to get bigger. And so this is a way to let people know that there's content out there and there's content coming. So on the 3D now, today we have a much better technology than, say, in the 1950s, the Swamp Thing Absolutely. movies. Absolutely. Uh, but you still got to wear glasses. Yes. Got to wear glasses. And so they can download it and any computer will support it or? Okay, you got to have the right computer monitor okay. or you can watch it on any TV or any monitor using the red and blue glasses. Oh, and okay. if you go to the website and you need a pair of red and blue glasses, there's a link in there where you can, they'll send you a free pair of red and blue I glasses guess. so I you guess. can watch it in anaglyph. Close. I want a clean fight. I don't want any rabbit punches down here. <laughs> None of this. Okay, I don't want you to do this to him. I don't want any of that. No ear pulling. None of that. No. So keep it close. This way, when you're coming into the 3D, yeah. it's going to come off the screen really good. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Actually, optimal is if you've got a Samsung or a Panasonic or okay. a Sony TV, 3D TV that you just bought and you want content. In most cases, they have a USB drive and you can download this, put it on the USB drive, plug it right into your TV, wow. put on your glasses and watch it at home. That's amazing. And, but let's say my mom wants to watch it because, you know, then she can dial, my biggest fan. She can go to the web and go to YouTube. Okay. And in YouTube, she can tell it to watch it in red and cyan. Whoa. And then she can use the red and blue glasses that she can get for free, and she can watch the whole thing. Right on YouTube? Right on YouTube. Oh, my God. So, okay, okay, okay. So let's say I buy Lucky Charms, because they're my sponsor. Let's say we buy Lucky Charms, we cut out the glasses off the back, okay. and they can actually watch this in 3D on YouTube. Absolutely. That is amazing. One thing about doing movies is that you got to do it again and again and again. Every single scene, again, again, a million times. You get to a point that you can't stand to hear the words cut, or again, or even action at that point. A lot of people think movie fighting's fake, and it is. I mean, me, me and Ulysses aren't trying to kill each other. But okay. at the same time, you're hitting each other, hitting each other, hitting each other okay. for a period of okay. hours. I mean, a real fight is only 15 minutes. This thing okay. went on for two, three hours of us okay. Okay. hitting and kicking and punching and kicking. And with the constant cut, cut, do it again, cut, do it again. Now, with 3D, other special problems are that the action has to be really, really tight. The area that you're filming in, or let's say the area that can appear on the screen, is a lot tighter. So uh, you can't, if you go too far to the left, too far to the right, you're out of picture. If you come too far forward, you actually come out of the screen, which is, actually, which is cool, and you can do that sometimes, but you don't want to do it too often, because then the audience will get bored by it. And we had to be careful that we were on the same plane. In other words, the distance between the fighters is going to be very visible in a 3D scenario. What's my motivation? Oh! I got it, I got it. I understand. You want some fucking motivation? Where's the camera when we need it? Where's the camera? Okay. 
So that, that so, way you've got the that way you've got the action so like, in the camera. Yeah. But keep, but keep like you can still be back a bit. See, the whole, whole idea of 3D is you could be further apart because the camera picks up the distance. Yeah. Okay. So if you can if you can come past come past like that, you've plenty of room. Yeah. Okay. But the camera won't. Use it. Yeah? Oh, I understand what you're saying. So the distance. The distance is okay. So this this for 3D is the same distance. That's right. But it's I understand. Actual. It's actual. But understand. the other the other point about it is that when when the, when the blow hits, I can come past you like that. Yeah. Right. If I go past you like that, I can be that distance, but on camera, it's as if I hit your chin, and then if you get the reaction like that, yeah, it's, like, it's, uh, all, it works. it's all still about the angles. Okay. But yeah. you don't have as much compression. Okay. In 2D, you have compression. Okay. So you can be actually further away from the hit with and, and do it more at an angle, and it still looks like you've hit. With 3D, you need to change the angle so that you can't see the hit, so that it looks like it came in, but yet it's, you know, it's got to be a little closer. Okay. Okay. But you can still miss. Yeah. You don't want yeah. to take his jaw out now. Don't. We're not, we're not doing a slow motion with the jaw dotting and, and the eyes popping out and things like that. So and don't, don't, don't hurt him. Wait, what was that? Up to you. It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember. Don't do, don't. And whatever you do, don't fucking grab his nuts like this. Like the last time we got like oh, Sorry, we didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> like that. They stayed a couple for six months after that. <laughs> so it's sort of a success story. Action. We had to be on the same plane, which meant the distance between the fighters would be very noticeable on a 3D screen. On a 2D screen, two guys can actually be layered one in front of the other, throwing punches at each other. They're actually nowhere near each other, but it's going to appear that they're hitting each other. But in 3D, the audience is actually going to perceive that they could pass their hand in between the two fighters. Too far left or right, you're out, you're out of the picture. It's the same as you would be in a 2D movie, but it's a lot more dramatic in a 3D movie because suddenly half your body is going to be 3D, the other half is going to be missing, and then like the whole image is going to go flat. So you'll see uh, Rick and Al every few minutes are coming in telling us, oh, I'm sorry, you're out of the picture, you're too far left, too far right, keep it in the center. And uh, the area that we got to fight in just keeps getting smaller and smaller. When you go too far forward, you come out of the screen. and it's a cool effect. It's sort of like that um, that hologram in Star Wars 1. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. You know, the chick with the, the bagels on her ears. That one. So and, and we can't move, right? You don't no, want us to move. Don't move. I want you to stay right in in the sweet spot because it's very particular. So keep it right where you are. He's slightly back. You're slightly forward. You're actually almost outside the screen. Okay. Okay. All right. So he's slightly backward. Yeah, that looks great, guy. Back in. Back in. That's it. That's good. That's good.